All right, and we are back with part seven, I think, of The Evil Within. I'm still continuing to chug along with the DLC, which I'm completely new to, unlike the base game, so... Any and all scares here are legitimate. Oh, hey, Janubi, what's up, man? Uh, this is not a... Oh, no, it's all good. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's no, there's no vaulting over zombies in this game. It's, it's just a lot of dying. Please let it be Leslie. It's near, lower my sensitivity. That's the nice thing about getting a mouse with programmable, uh, buttons on it. Mine's not even that fancy, it's just two extra, I guess four extra ones. I've got to get to him before those things do. Oh, thanks, man. Much... Oh, wait, shit. Uh, the stealth segment is not very stealthy so far. Let's see if I can just lose him real quick. Oh. That thing broke. Nope. Shit. Did they already forget I exist? Yes, apparently. They're not very bright. Um, I don't have any axes, so I can't take them out. Hey, okay, they're looking the other way. Oh, here's an axe, actually. No. Oh, no, that is... Nope. Oh, no. Those things are blind. I don't have to worry about them necessarily. Oh no, I can't go. Okay. Don't touch me. Can I climb over? No. Am I even supposed to climb over? No. Shit, 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 shit. I have one axe, but I don't really want to waste it if I don't have to. Good. Look the other way. Cool. Is this where I'm even supposed to go, though? <laughs> oh, it's not stealthy. Don't kick open doors. Apparently it works, but maybe not a great idea. That should get them away oh. from the game. Oh god damn it. Let's see if I can get him to fall in here. <laughs> oh, that works. Alright. Uh that is infinitely too many to deal with. Um, I don't imagine I can trick more than one to go in there. Shoot. Need to either run to the left or right, I'm guessing. Left? Yeah, yeah definitely the left. Peace. Oh, you know what? This is the same area from the base game, I think? Wait, no. This looks very similar. I think these things can climb ladders, so... Uh, did that open anything, though? The door, I think? Help! Help! They're here! He's here! Leslie, it's all right. It's safe now. You can let me in. Safe? It's safe now? I'm still even trying to, like, formulate whatever timeline is going on, because I don't even know if this is at the same time as the base game, because 
This is supposed to be some kind of weird trip that she's doing for her employer. He's here. Finally found you. You're not hurt, are you? Poor Leslie, though. Can't get away. We'll be fine, Leslie. How am I gonna get us out of here? Church, please. The church. Church, 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 church. I really hope that. Come on. Stay close to if, if, the if a third game does get made, maybe not center around Ruvik because um, the, the antagonist of the first game, I, since he does, uh, spoiler alert, get away with it, um, maybe not focus on him because we already know his past and like who he is and whatnot, but I think it'd be interesting to have him be in the third game in some regard. That magically collapsed. Leslie's just gonna chill back there while we do some spooky shit. That is a dead flesh bag. Nope, nope. I was about to say I don't want to get any more any more one hit kills, which is basically this DLC. Except it's a bit, it's designed better than the base game, so it's not as cheap. Because the base game is like one hit kills all over the place, but you're meant to like engage in combat, whereas this is stealth, so as long as you don't mess up the stealth, um, you're good to go. But even, even, even with me, I've been able to just kind of like break stealth and sprints and I've been okay. Just a little further. I would like to think I'm generally good at stealth. Oh, come on, buddy. Yeah, I would like to think I'm good at stealth in actual stealth games and not games that just kind of have them as a side. I know people are like super complaining about the stealth levels. At five, came a plague taking our livestock. With that, many took their lives. At seven, mother turned to the church. Their symbol was etched in her mind. At fourteen, I left, leaving only a note. I wrote that I'd gone to heaven. Okay. Um. Yeah, I know. Like a lot of people what complain the about the stealth sections in the uh, Insomniac Spider-Man game, which came out twenty eighteen. I don't know. I didn't have an issue. With it. Oh shit. Leslie, you've got to hide. Don't come out until I call you. Damn, at least a little shit listens for once. <laughs> yeah, I gotta open this, I guess. Shit. Come on. Hey, where is the enemy, though? It's gonna be those big old giant dudes, right? Okay, that was just a circle. I hear creepy music. I don't see creepy things, though. Okay, am I supposed to... Is the enemy even here yet? Please don't just pop up around a corner and fucking... Destroy me. Okay, this is where I came from. I know, not exactly where I came from, but... Oh, here we go. Fuck. Ox-headed idol. This figurine has a cow skull for a head, appearing in Kidman's nightmares. It is a bad omen. Is that just like a random collectible? I would sneak into the graveyard, steal the statues, and hide them. I wanted people to think they were cursed, but every morning we were back in the right place. Ooh. Oh, wait. Okay, so that closed on me. This figurine holds a crucifix between folded wings. 
Okay, so there's gotta be some puzzle elements putting these statues. Do I want to open that? I don't think so. I'm gonna avoid doing that. This figurine has wings spread wide and shows a true form of the statue in the market. I had enough. When I knew I could survive on my own, I left and told myself I would never come back. Okay. So here's the three statues. Seven, five, and was that 14? All right, so this is a five came up plague, taking our livestock. Both many took their lives. Mother. Heaven. Okay, 14. There's got to be this one. Livestock is five. This one is that, right? Yes. Oh, come on, fucking the magic. Right ahead. It should be a little safer in there. Good thing I didn't open up that freaking door, because I know there's an enemy that you fight there in the base game. I wonder if it would even work. How did you get s Oh, he sprint. Oh, there is the giant that I was referring to. Don't see me. I am very good at stealth. As my head is sticking out of cover. Come on. Go. All I have is my flashlight. And <laughs> you can't see that I'm lighting it like that, okay. Shit. Oh shit, I sprinted. I was not supposed to do that. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Nope. Nope. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was bad. That was very protracted. <laughs> but, uh... I forgot, you can't sprint for shit in this game. You can sprint for, like, all of, like, two feet before you just kind of keel over from exhaustion. Shit. Don't see me. Okay, so we need to be very stealthy. Hey, thanks, my my for following. Much appreciated. Uh, you can laugh at me being god awful at this. So I think he's gonna stick to the same pattern. I'm gonna turn left over here. Please don't murder me. Oh. I don't know what maneuver that was, but do not turn around. No. Oh, son of a bitch. That is ex sprint, dude. Oh. <laughs> I'm right at the gate. I am right there. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's that sucked. I would argue that I should have made it that time. I, I assume you get past that little part and then then you're golden. So let's position myself a little bit closer. Even though this makes no logical sense and that guy should totally see my head just poking out. I even keep lighting my flashlight for him. See if that helps him. Apparently not. Alright, so as soon as he goes past, which is now, he's going to turn around, so I need to hover. Wait for him to turn the other way, I guess. Which is now. Okay. 
There we go. We should be good. Don't notice me, senpai. Oh! No! <laughs> Shit. Uh huh. We should go. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I shouldn't have been cocky. I should have just went for it. I'm surprised how well designed this is for being a DLC to a game that has a lot of design issues, despite being a pretty damn good game. I can see why they took the uh, director for these DLCs and they just let him be the director of the sequel. Because, damn, the, se the sequel of this is really damn good. It's alright. I'm here. Nothing is going to get you. You have to stay with me. There's no other way. He's here! <laughs> Ruvik, what do you want with me? You. I'm just making sure you're doing your job. Just like me, I doubt they want damaged goods. Back up! He's coming with me! Oh, I hope so. I needn't remind you the consequences for failure. I... Your people aren't the only ones counting on this boy. You need him to get out. As do I. We're all their pawns. Eventual victims. They killed me. Oh shit, he already has him. Me apart and took what they needed. He had him way, I way before all of the rest of the game. To control. Rubik? Oh, damn. So I am in control. I sense a conflict of interest. Just what was your mission exactly? Do you think their all prying eyes can't see in here? They've been watching you, kid. What are you doing, kid? Was this all a to test? Bring the boy back to us. No! I can't! If I bring Leslie out, Ruben comes with him. We don't know what he's capable of. I... I can't let that happen. So yeah, even though... Ruvik's going a little crazy, um, Mobius still wants to preserve Ruvik, and to do that, they need Leslie, so, they're playing with fire, and Kidman's like, no, fuck that. Like this. this is not acceptable behavior. You will bring us back that boy. I need fucking Slender Man over here. You can't escape. Like everyone else that crosses us, we will hunt you down. May I at least get my gun back for a boss battle? Come back, kid. You have a job to do. He had a gun in that cutscene. Just doesn't have it now. I guess we gotta crash Bandicoot our way. Shit. Enough games. Stop <laughs> running. What could be worse than one bad guy chasing us? What about two bad guys chasing us? Why does it look like they have fucking tentacles? Oh shit. I've seen too much anime to know where, where all this tentacle nonsense is gonna bring us.
I gotta say, nice fake outs with uh, what direction you can go and whatnot. Like, kind of even relying on shadows. We can't have you acting on your own. You will follow us. Oh, that is a. Oh! What the fuck? Nope. That is pretty cool. That is pretty fucking cool. It's horrifying, but pretty cool. I guess that's the end of this DLC, which was two chapters, I want to say. Kind of weird to even cut into two chapters if it's that short, Having all but of I don't mind. It was, it was fun. With opportunities. I can't trust you. Not like this. No, she's, she's coming with us. She's my responsibility. Look, Seb, we need to talk. You're getting out of control. Finally, with this machine, I can go back. We can continue the experiments. There are some things here that are to remain in the dark. Beacon. I just hope I can get there before he does. So... A little hasty with that gun, kid. What is it you plan on doing? What I have to do. Okay, yeah, I guess this second piece of DLC is basically just a follow-up to that. I guess it's kind of weird to, like, see it segmented like that after the fact when I'm playing this, like, I think, like, seven years after it came out. Um, I would imagine it made more sense as, like, an episodic thing um, once when the DLC, like, did initially come out. Alright, so that's saved. Title menu. Because for whatever reason, each DLC... It's not its own launcher, but... Main game title menu. Yeah, it's not like their own independent launcher from a PC front. But you do have to go back to the title menu and then access the DLC. And then that has its own menu with like options and stuff. It's kind of weird. Let's see the consequence. That's new game. Brightness. At least it keeps the settings um, and whatnot. Would you like to import acquired archive act? Et sorry, entries from the assignments. Imported personnel files, research documents, and the completed torn letter come from all save files in your profile. I didn't collect all of it anyway, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. So let's see if that just like follows up like directly from the last one. Oh no, it straight up calls it chapter three. So like, yeah, it's supposed to be like one kind of continuous thing, Do I guess. Do your past secrets haunt you? Do you wish to tell them, but something holds you back? Come back, kid. You have a job to do. No, stop. Get away from me. Stop running. <laughs> That is way too nice of a looking it's hospital over. for anything in this damn game. I'm back. I don't trust it. I don't believe anyone would let, would let you in a hospital all torn up like that. Uh, this is a very well lit room. There's barely any room for shadows. I don't think anything in this room has shadows. Not a fan of edgy hedgehogs, I guess. Oh, yep, that's no, what I thought. No. Where is this place? Oh, this is the same uh, little hospital holding area from the main game. See, there's a safe. Um, that is a lot of possible numbers. That is a lot. We can do like the eventual process of elimination, but that is a that is too much to do just by guessing. Uh, 
Bastion's room would have been that one, right? This would be the crazy guy. Nothing else. Nothing's right here. Are we awake? Hey you! Yes? What's going on? Where is this place? I'm afraid I cannot answer that. Are you kidding me? Ugh, waste of time. Oh, what the fuck? That is new. Can we not use a green gel room? Oh, we can open the door. We must have that boy. He will enable us to change everything. I'll come back with him. I not the green gel room. The consequences for failure. I know. But if Ruvik leaves with him, there must be some way to stop him. No, uh, we need to get everything to chip off there. Um, I need to use the restroom really quick. I will be right back. All right, and we're back. Hands washed because I am a decent human being. <laughs> okay, so we gotta find more stuff to get uh, the concrete torn up. God, I always swear there's gonna be freaking enemies in this room, but there never is, and it that freaks me out so bad. Hey, kitty cat. That's a lot of blood right there. Oh. Oh, I got so scared I'd have to fucking run from them. I don't like that. Not one bit. Society is wounded. People are suffering. Hopeless. Just as you were. Before we saved you. Mobius can now do the same for everyone. STEM is a machine designed to connect everyone's subconscious, and whoever is at the center has the power to influence them. There couldn't be a better tool to change the world, to lead. Society needs a curator, and Mobius will be just that, ushering in the next step of humanity. I love how freaking cartoonishly evil it is. It's, um, I don't know if it's much of a spoiler, but basically the premise of 2 is they want everyone in the world to eventually be within STEM, which, which links people's brains, so that they can literally control people's lives. It, it's basically... It, so much of this game, like, revolves around the premise of the Matrix, except that they want to directly influence it. You're very cold and dismissive, and you're not even letting me use the frickin' typewriter. Hey, I know you're oh, crazy dude. Maybe we can you find out who this is. Idea why this world is the way it is. Hate. Hate. Ruvix hate. The man's consumed by it. He wants out! Wants to get his revenge! He wants back! What he feels the world took from him. Yes, we 
How does he know about Ruvik? Hey, at least she's asking the same damn questions as me for Despite once. Despite our powerful benefactors, with this much collateral damage, it's only a matter of time before people start to take notice. KCPD has been dropping by a female officer. Oh, he's a reporter. Um, Regardless, the police are not something I should be involved with. Mobius says they will take care of it and make an effort to ensure KCPD leave us alone. Yeah, a reporter getting uh, snooping a little bit too much. They like, basically it looks like they tossed him in here. Poor dude. Leslie. Say hi, Mac. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. You don't have to say hi. It's okay to be shy. I am shy too. Just just go along your kitty path. Don't scratch at my tattoo. <laughs> that is flowers. Damn, she fucking got me. Cats are assholes. Oh, another thing. This is supposed to be Sebastian's room. Too bad they dragged you into this. But either way, you're mine. To do with as I please. So this is when he's supposed to be in the elevator, if I remember correctly. Sebastian. He must be somewhere else right now. Damn it, he doesn't have anything to do with this. Right. Uh, is the slab exposed yet? There we go. Something's pulling me back there. Dead. Oh. While it is theoretically possible for a host to overwrite themselves on a user, the odds of compatibility are astronomical. But the boy, Leslie. You're saying he's a compatible subject. Yes, and based on Ruben's notes, the stem should be able to run with Leslie as its source. I need you to do tests. Determine what must be done to make him the blank slate we need. They knew. They knew what Leslie was capable of. Damn it, why would they hide that from me? I wonder what it is specifically about Leslie that makes him perfect. Um... For Ruben to take over. Is this some kind of weird genetic thing? Is it um is it because Leslie has some form of autism or something? But then does that necessarily even make Leslie that special? Like what is in what is inherently unique about Leslie that makes him perfect for this? Because they have the resources to basically kidnap anyone in the world, so we had a stem terminal here on the lowest floor. Leslie's in here with me, he's probably headed there. And that may be my way out of here. Nope, there's another thing over here. Why did you just fall over? I don't I like get that. get through with the power out. I've gotta get things running again. Kitty cat, open the door. You gonna? Nope. You're not gonna walk all the way over. Fucking ass. Oh. Well, at least he was polite enough to completely ignore me. Where'd they go? Corner. What the fuck? I'm gonna drop from the freaking ceiling or just pop up behind me, right? Oh shit. shit. Nice. No. And no more flashlight. I can barely see anything in here. Chemical lights. 
better than nothing, I guess. Do we at least have unlimited of these? Okay, this is actually pretty freaking cool. No flashlights, but we gotta make plenty with these. How many of these can I even have out at a time? I guess they go out after a while, or maybe you can only have three. I don't know. I'm guessing it's you can only have three out. Where does that go? That goes literally nowhere. I guess it's just a temporarily hide. I don't tr really trust that dead body, to be honest. Build nothing here? That is so weird. So we gotta go buy this. Let's toss everybody's. <laughs> yep, that's what I figured. Smash your brain in. Eat. Please tell me there's something over here. Oh. Okay, there's something walking around. Oh shit. I don't have an axe, so. Come on, go, 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 go. I think it has a. No, does it have a gun? I don't know. Please don't have a gun. That would suck for me. Damn, I really love this. So I'm surprised they didn't bring some of the stuff back in uh, Evil Within 2. I think they're above. That's my headphones seem to be telling me. Oh shit. Auxiliary power has been activated. Alright, now we can see what the fuck we're doing. Floor security is now Now there's gonna be a bunch of enemies coming my way, right? Please don't pop out to the left. Oh god, fucking called it. Oh, we got an axe. Means we gotta kill something, I guess. Do I have to carry that or something? Eat. Let's kill you, big boy. Dead. There we go. I think it's smooth sailing from here. At least you can just fucking toss one of these sticks at her dumbass over here. <laughs> just to be an ass. Okay, so it's still kind of dark over here. 
I don't trust that body. <laughs> You're gonna get up. Okay, I guess not. There we go. Systems were previously shut down incorrectly. Each terminal requires manual restoration. Please be patient. This isn't the time to make me wait. Hello, kitty cat. Alright, new slot, save. Alright, and we're good to go. Just gotta get this freaking cat off us. All right. Come on, Kidman, you can... You are so out of shape. You can go for more than two seconds. I need to get back to exercise and I can run longer than that. What the fuck? Oh, brilliant. Ruben was quite insane. A compromise of ethics on our part. He seemed motivated, obsessed with revenge against something never specified. We discovered what he was doing in secret. Torturing. Pension for traps. A serial killer masquerading around as a scientist. I mean, pretty admittedly brilliant at both. Gotta give him credit for that, I guess. Yeah, definitely torture, definitely a jigsaw want to be anything else around here I guess there's not much resources to grab I assume that's where I need to go there's got to be collectibles over here yep you even locked a new music track I will never use it <laughs> sorry Unless it's freaking Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, where you can listen to all the songs and stuff. I, I'm not interested. I, that's just what I'm made of, I guess. I get so paranoid whenever it makes you wait for that, because now I'm just like, oh great, now I gotta hide from some enemies or whatever. Oh, you know what? These are like the brain puzzles that, um, that Sebastian was doing in the mansion. Like the dude's head just sliced perfectly in half down the middle. Oh, and this is the same puzzle thing right here, where it's, uh, you need to find like the little symbols. His demeanor has turned far too aggressive and his techniques even more perverse. Da Vinci would dissect corpses to further his anatomical studies, but what Reuben has done goes beyond demanding his subjects be aware as he dissects them to truly see how the mind reacts. He's more of a butcher than an... So this dude's straight-up sadistic. For me. People like you, you took my life away, turned me into an abomination. Finally, with this machine, I can go back. I can live the life I was supposed to have. We are forgiving. We are willing to overlook your certain peculiarities for what you can provide us. But you are testing our limits, our manpower. Our resources are not here for your pathetic fantasy. Damn. You will reverse the calibration on the machine so we can use it without you. And what if I say no? You think he menace can fix this? <laughs> you need me, and there's no way around it. Ruvik. No. Reuben. This was where he was doing his research with us. We were just using him. And I doubt he's the first. Yeah, Rubik's definitely the psychotic murderer and Oh shit, I gotta hide. How do I hide? I don't have anywhere to freaking hide. Yeah, he's definitely a psychotic murderer, but Mobius is the one that really enabled it to begin with. It's a lot of chainsaws. 
has a lot of chainsaws. That's an ungodly. Uh oh, don't slice me in half. Oh no, I do not want to walk toward. Oh, I need to like turn its head all the way on, don't I? Just eat this. Kill it with glue sticks. <laughs> or what if I toss a glue stick here? Will that work too? No. Stupid fucking. Yeah, I, I, I am aware what I. Oh. That works too. I thought I had to like go up to and like grab its head or some shit. Thankfully, that's not the case. I do have to sprint now, though. Oh shit, dude, run! I don't, I can't sprint for shit. Okay, we gotta go, 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 go. Shit! Don't have time for this. Do not freaking do this to me, my dude. Okay, now I can go through the door. I just need a, this thing to get the fuck out of the way. Damn it. Oh, come on. Get your get your ass up, Kidman. Kidman, I swear to freaking god, do not do this to me. Come on, go! <laughs> that was too close! That was entirely too close. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck me. God damn. I do not. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. It's back. Okay. Shit. Okay, I gotta start the door. In the first place, so. Okay, let's do this. Please enjoy this music while waiting. Oh no. You've got to be kidding me. One. Shit, it's coming this way. Two, one more. Shit. Thank you for waiting. All right, Have we need it to go away a little bit, and then I'll go. Please go away, my dude. There we go. Guess I'm all right for now. Yeah. <laughs> Tossing those. It's have an unlimited amount. What the? Oh great. Oh shit. Oh shit. Please don't kill me. Do I have to avoid these. Is that what's going on? We can stab me with this dilemma. Is he gone? Can I go now? Just waiting on the elevator. There we go. It's just raining blood over here. Whoops. What happens if I just throw one at it? Does it know I'm no, it goes to the where it came from. Okay. Okay, I can't go through there. Hey, buddy. Don't kill me, please. Shit. I can barely see that fucking thing.
Yeet. Okay, this thing is... There we go. There we go. I thought it'd be more complicated to get that open, but I guess not. Let's get that open. Oh, that is a lot of eyes. What have you done to Ruben? Show me. Keep your emotions out of this, Jimenez. He brought this upon himself. We gave him a chance. Oh, another Where flashlight. If you really wish to know, he's in the next room. Come. <laughs> They're gonna fucking strap him in there, too. There we go. I guess no more just tossing fucking, uh... Lights of people. Just got a flashlight now. Which, hey, better tool all around, but, um. Oh, this is a cool puzzle. This is admittedly a cool puzzle. Because you just have to match the, uh, the blood marks on it. That is pretty dope. There we go. Nice puzzle. Smart, but not hard. Or clever, I should say. Oops, where do I... Right down here. Here we go. This is despicable. What is this monstrosity? Despicable? Coming from the man using his own patience to further his own research? The irony of this situation is amusing. But even you must realize what we can do with this. This means... Stem will run. We can continue the experiments. And your assistance is even more necessary than before. This whole project, from the beginning, it was about deceit. I mean, I got no sympathy for, uh, for Ruben. He can, he can get fucked for all I care, but, um, yeah, freaking Mobius is not helping here. How am I supposed to... Button to use. I don't know. <laughs> Gotta be a clue around here somewhere, right? Let's see. Nothing. Oh. There we go. How are these supposed to line up? Can I turn these lights off? Can I move stuff? Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so four diagonal. One, two. I can't remember that. There we go. I am super smart. Oops. I saw what they have done to him, and I am appalled. To think the young boy I mentored is now this. A mass of gray matter in a glorified test tube. 
Could they have been planning this all along? And what have I become in all of this? They've managed. So overall, pretty pissed what they did to Ruben because he kind of. What you see here is one of the first him since he was a kid in terms of, like scientific yeah. exploration. But um, Sebastian Oscar. Still, he's he's like, but on um, stem and beacon. That's where it all started. There must be a way to get out of this world from there. Yeah, I know, Kidman, but you're interrupting me. So, <laughs> yeah, admittedly, pretty pissed to see this kid that he helped, like, uh, tutor and whatnot to be a great scientific mind. Uh, pretty pissed about that. But, he, then he was like, but that is pretty damn fucking cool, am I right? So, he's kind of okay with it. Oh, shit. Some things here that are to remain in the dark. Especially for you, kid. You're asking too many questions, ignoring your mission. Running from responsibility. Just like you always do. No, that's not true. You don't know me. That much is obvious. Oh, well, we can see half his face. But we need to make sure you do what you're told. You're lying to me. Hiding things. I can't trust you. Not like this. Damn, you are not being assertive. To trust us. Only to obey. Good job standing up for yourself, Alex Kidman. He's like, damn, I'm gonna fuck off for a bit then. Sorry you had to see that, kitty cat. Violence is not a good thing to bring home. Especially when your home has kitty cats. Especially when your home is not a home and your cat's just kinda... Magically teleporting around with a couch for whatever godforsaken reason. Maybe just don't have violence in the household. Even if it's not a household. Just don't have violence. <laughs> Go. What kind of manner of spooky shit am I going to have to deal with now? Actually, you know what? Before I forget, because I am very... Very prone to forgetting things. Let's go over to my show notes real quick. Show notes for... Damn, I can't believe we're already on 23 episodes of the podcast. And the next one coming up this Sunday would be episode uh, 24. That's crazy that we've been doing this for um, almost half a year at this point. It's, that just kind of speaks to like... How insane the entire freaking pandemic's been, though, I guess. How long it's lasted. It's it's going to be good to see friends and whatnot. Uh, what, are the, what are those things? Uh, glow sticks. No flashlights. There we go. I'll remember to elaborate on that later. As long as I have the little base note there. And everything is floating up, I guess. I can't see where I'm going. I don't really like that very much. <laughs> this should be concerning. It, it's into a hole. A hole that's getting progressively tighter. You were assigned to your team for a reason. Castellanos, Oda, they know nothing. But they're searching for answers. Searching for us, you mean? One of us. But this may be our chance to remove them. Having all of you in one place will provide us with opportunities. Okay. That is a weird... Oh, the ladder just went away too. What the fuck? Listen. The police department. Why am I here? This place is pretty damn empty. <gasps> you know what? I never realized. I think this is the exact same uh, office slash layout from the Evil Within 2 because this looks so familiar. Except there, there wasn't the stairs there. I think that was like walled off. Or something. I remember these two doors. I remember being able to go in through. Just here. Like that's, that's blocked off now. But Man, that is cool. Irrigation room. 
nothing to interrogate, I guess. Okay, um... Do I... Not a door around here. Wait, yes, there's two doors right here. Yeah, because that office over there is Sebastian's, if I remember. Some of these desks might have been moved around in two, but... Oh! Wanted. Missing... I don't know who these people are. Oh, pick up. Collectible. I'm kind of geeking out right now. I guess it would have been like a reverse geeking out or whatever if uh, you actually played the DLC before you played 2. How's Lily doing? Great. Everything's going fine. Just wish my wife would be home more to take care of her. Sebastian when he wasn't a drunk. Huh? One of Crimson's finest, I suppose. She's a great cop in her own right. But we can manage without her for a little longer. You should hope she doesn't hear you say that, or you'll be out in your ass, Joseph. This looks like it's way before I got here. Everyone's so much younger, but Sebastian's profile didn't say he was married. Let alone a child. It, oh, because, yeah, it makes sense that Mobius is hiding that information. Because these, these kind of look like the freaking zombies or whatever that you're fighting. Huh. It's over here. Jack shit. Oh, there's a safe. Am I supposed? Is it supposed to be like a traditional safe, or? Okay, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Is there a puddle right there? Look, Seb, we need to talk. Going off with your conspiracy theories? You're getting out of control. You don't pull that in front of the captain. I'm on to something, Joseph. I don't need you hiding shit from me, too. I'm not, Sebastian. I'm trying to help. I want to help. But you need to think about this carefully. Your daughter. It was a loss. Everyone on the force felt. But your wife is... Myra left, Joseph. She left. When we needed each other the most, Myra left me. What would make her do that? I have to know. I don't care what it costs. His daughter, then his wife? One right after the other? No wonder he always seems so closed off. But, um... Yeah, this is definitely crazy leading in a two. And it makes sense that the director of this um, is the director of two. And hey, there's a missing poster for his wife, Myra Castellanos. I guess we're just going to keep going down this hallway and going back into the office, I guess. Oh, we can't eat this door. Julie Kidman? She barely has any experience, and we don't even know anything about her. Send her out canvassing witnesses, then. Let her see the streets. No. She's... she's coming with us. I'm going to train her. She's my responsibility. Look, I know you say it's personal, and I don't like to talk about it. But we can't have your misplaced guilt leading to rookies slowing us down. Sebastian. He and Joseph weren't supposed to be involved. It shouldn't have happened like this. At least Joseph's a good cop. He's trying to do the right thing, I guess. And Sebastian's just like a fucking downward spiral. Granted, pretty justified, but it be what it be when your partner doesn't know your crazy theories are actually legit, even if you don't find that out until the second game. This is Crimson? This can't be real. It's super real. 
That's like ten times as real as Reagan was real. Right. The A stem prototype at Beacon. Beacon. I just hope I can get there before he does. Right. I guess it's kind of relieving knowing that there you don't have to get resources because you can't use any. You can't. There, there are none to grab. So in that way, it's much more of a linear experience, and it's much more expertly paced. I wish I was Spider-Man right now, just freaking swing across all these buildings, though. Screen. Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah, I. Thank you for letting me know I died, game. I, I couldn't figure that out from the fact I did like a 50 foot drop. Alright, let's try that again. Let's take it nice and slow. Apparently we have to watch this every time I fuck up though, so uh let's not fuck up. <laughs> oh, that building is falling. I should probably have some sense of urgency, I suppose. Can I just push you? Oh, damn it. Nope. Fuck that up. Goodbye. Ruben's experimentation has demanded more and more subjects. And sad to say, they're suffering as much as, if not more than, his previous patients. Fortunately, Beacon and the city offer no shortage of expendable subjects. So yeah, doing fucked up shit, but he's getting compensated, so he doesn't care too much. Menez is a corrupt piece of shit. Kind of crazy, like, continuing to go into his character, even though he's long been dead in the player's eyes. He's not even necessarily the main antagonist. Oh, shit. Yeet! Haha, <laughs> you can't... <laughs> He's just gonna keep wagging his arm at the entrance. Nope. I waited. I didn't wait long enough. I need you to walk away. So I can kill you, buddy. There we go. Let's just do this. Eat. Come on, you gotta Spartan kick them. You can't just shove them with your frickin' torso. Where is the spirit of the Yeats? Come on, faster. Yeet. Oh. There was no eating. That was just slicing the dude's head off. Any day now. There we go. Thank you, convenient sign that fell in the exact perfect location. Beacon is close. Can't stop now. Can I? Oh, there's a hole. Duh. Oh, there's a letter. Well, here's where you'll be living. The view's pretty spectacular, huh? <laughs> Holy shit. This is... different than I'm used to. You saw where I grew up. The past is over. 
you're with us now. Here are the keys. It's yours. So came up from poverty, got offered everything she wanted from Mobius on the condition that she be their agent. And she was happy to take it. Can't necessarily blame her. It's a hell of an upgrade from fucking poverty. Especially since she was very young. Let's see. Oh, is that too many tries or something? So let's do this. So I need the corners. That much is plain as can see. Okay, whatever. Fuck you. I don't want to do it. <laughs> it's not giving me anything substantial out of it anyway, so it's whatever. Oh, I can actually use this? Oh, it's uh, collectible. I was about to say, I haven't been able to use this for like anything else. He's like, no. No, there is nothing to grab in these DLCs, so. It be what it be. You said I shouldn't be. But I am thankful. I don't know what would have happened to me if you hadn't brought me in. The mark. Looks like it might be my only way out. Let's see. Sculpture piece one. Fragment I found in the office is made of marble and appears to be ornamental. I need more of these. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to go all the way in. Just quite yet. I want to get it. Um, I get a grip. Okay, so yeah, this would go like right here. If I need more prongs. I want to get a bearing in my surroundings is the expression I think I was aiming for. <laughs> Eat. Oh, there's enemies around here. Shit. What is that? Oh! Don't let it be that camera thingy. Okay, it's just a regular dude. I can deal with regular dudes. Enemy dudes. Manageable. That is a box of some oh, shit. What is this? Sculpture piece two. It would appear to be the second sculpture piece. I can fold that thing out. What's around? Just, uh, sh okay, shit. Do not come all the way over here. I don't think it will. back towards that. Here we go. Oh, what the fuck? Nope, you don't see me. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> that would have been so scary if fucking like reached over and just grabbed me. That would have sucked so much freaking ass. Okay. Um There we go. Still kind of Oh. This is your last chance to prove yourself to us, kid. Don't let us down. Bring the boy to us. Stop it! Get out of my head! <sighs> nice kick. That doesn't do anything. I do love the idea or the motif of the kitty cat to save, but uh, in terms of just like getting in, getting out to do what we need to do, it's uh, not super intrusive, it just takes more time than it really should. this area this area is pretty cool except for all the freaking machine gun assholes I dragged you into this what have I done at least she's feeling pretty bad okay they'll be not the best of friends by the time of two but we'll get there Oh, fuck, I hate this part of the main game. Oh, shit. At least these guns aren't an instant kill. They might as well be the main campaign. Holy shit. Yeet. Oh, my God, we finally have a freaking gun. Yes. Hells yes. We only have so much ammo, apparently. There we go. Can I just let Sebastian do the work? Oh, fucking damn it. I fucked up. Come on. Get a little bit. Damn, pistol's pretty freaking strong. See, when, when they don't give you a gun for a while and then you suddenly do get it, it makes it all the more impactful because now I'm like, yes, all these enemies that are giving me a hard time, now they're just falling by the wayside and damn, is it fucking cathartic. Alright, let's fuck these guys up. Come on, get over here. Let's grab these extra bullets. Anyone else? I see red, but... Oh shit. Anyone dropping ammo by any chance? Oh, you are. That's good. Oh, more over here. Damn, Kidman's really getting the short end of the stick in terms of frickin' offensive capabilities. Sebastian has so much of a stronger freaking control over uh, this world than Kid does.
That is a narrow runway. What the fuck? Paranoia? That's literally what it's called, really? Oh, it's this fucking thing. Shit! I will shoot you, my dude. We gotta attack it, but we can't let it see us first, because it'll stun us. Damn, I am dead. I accept my fate, but I'm gonna run like an ass. Yeah, I'm dead. Damn it. Okay, so... Gotta shoot at it from stealth, I guess. We are hiding. That is a form of running, I suppose. It's smart hiding. Smart running. Oh, what? Did my game? Oh! My, my game just crashed because I, I hit R to reload. <laughs> Okay, let's um let's get that booted back up again. Hopefully that continue has my freaking safe. If not, I don't think we were too far, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue. See my screen's hella off, I gotta freaking alt enter this. This, this game is pretty buggy on PC, I will say. Okay, now my game is like super freaking on my- you're, you're not seeing it on stream. But on my end, it is freaking the fuck out. Alright. Loading profile data. I would just like to get back into the game, please. And continue. Because I think there's auto saves in here. I'm not too sure, to be quite honest. Yep, cool. We have this location at least. That is better than jack shit. I'm not running this time. We kind of are though. Just saying, Kidman. It did not see me. I need you to turn around so I can shoot you. Turn around, please. Is it really not? Can I just hide in this one spot? Oh my god, really? Is it too s Okay, no. It's not that stupid. Shit, okay. I gotta break for it. Oh. You know, look the other way. Shit. 
shit. Oh no, do not lure it. I don't want to do that. That is the opposite. I need freaking ammo though. Shit. There we go. That was literally my last bullet, so that checks out. Okay. Did Ruvik send you? Well, I hope he gets the message. <laughs> what kind of a fucking 80s one-liner was that? Jesus Christ. Are you in there? Sebastian? That, that me. Open the door. If you hadn't come along, save it for later. There are probably more of them around. What the fuck? That is a hell of a jump. Sebastian, what is? Stay back. She's my She shot Rubik. I'm sorry for putting I like all these freaking gross and his freaking face just magically went away. I try to stop me through you. Hey, Leslie. A little hasty with that gun, kid. What is it you plan on doing? What I have to do. I'm gonna kill Leslie. No. You do what we say. You will come back with that boy, or you will disappear. <laughs> oh shit. Run, dude. Do you really think you can do anything to stop this? Shit. Stop, damn it! You don't understand! We don't need your excuses, kid! Oh shit. Wrong direction. I fucked up. Can I escape? Or am I just. Oh no. Oh! Well, at least our head didn't explode, but that was pretty fucking freaky. <laughs> Alright. Round two. You really think you can do anything to stop this? Stop, damn it! You don't understand! We don't need your excuses, kid. Oh. You run because you're weak. You're afraid of us. But rightfully so, oh, you're trying to kill me, that? dude. Big ol' creepy spider, my dude. We got a fucking dip. Fuck this place. <laughs> 
You got the right attitude, Kidman. All right, we still got about uh, 30 minutes or so to go. That should be enough. Uh, next chapter. I'm going to assume there's four chapters total. Just based off the length of the uh, first part, I guess. That was a lot of sound effects. Can you discern between evil and good? <laughs> Maybe. Alright, so this is after the giant spider boss battle and whatnot no, in the no, main no. campaign. No. I really liked having that gun. <laughs> I guess we're back to spooky times. Spooky R Us. Let's see. What is Oh, I thought that was a collectible. Never mind. I will not be kept here. What's that? Maybe Burn, bitch. Burn oh, now with a flashlight, I need a uh, actual. Oh, you just go up to it. Sorry to ruin your NFT, my guy. Sucks for you. Box? Nope. Oh, shit. No, don't risk it. Hold on. I think I see another way down. I'll meet you on a lower level. Crazy how much she's intertwined, but from Kid's perspective, she really isn't interacting Just stay out of my with Sebastian way. or uh, Joseph all that much. After surviving the fire incident and subsequent abuse from his parents, it's a miracle Reuben can function at all. Oh, whoops. I accidentally clicked out. Basically, he's, he's obsessed with escaping to like this, this uh, false reality where he can control everything so he can see his sister again. Come on, Leslie, don't be a dick. Oh, shit. Do not form a big bad guy, please. That would not be cool. Which is weird that Leslie's acting like Leslie, even though it would appear that Ruvik already has him under control. Maybe I can stop him. Seems a little inconsistent in that regard, perhaps. Oh shit! There's monsters. Okay. Oh, there's an axe right there. Don't walk this way, walk the other way. Motherfucker. God damn it. Alright, you wanna be an asshole? Let's 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 be asshole time. God damn it. Shit. Shit. Come on. I am getting my buttons mixed up. Nope. Am I just dead? 
<laughs> oh, they fucking tag team me on that. I'll I'll give them that. They they earned that. One holds me, one just smacks me in the face once and I'm just out. Okay. You let them get a big lead last time by going the other direction, so. Strip that away. Come on, go the other direction. Freaking yeet you, my guy. Yeet! Alright, let's see if there's anything over here. Wasn't really looking for that kind of thing before. Anything? Just a lot of hidey holes. I am aware of how to throw bottles. Feels almost insulting that you have to tell me how it works. Hey, oh, I can't touch Leslie, okay. Gotta kill... Um... the fuck? That enemy go. There another axe somewhere I can use. Please let there be an axe. He is my vessel. I am in control. Can you go the other way? Here, let's fucking yeet this over there. Okay, there we go. We gotta burn these. Run, Leslie! Maybe that enemy is still here. Then. Is the enemy even still here? Towards the light? Or towards there? I'm guessing this is not the right way. But it has stuff. Like collectibles. Alright. Yeah, once you catch on to the fact that lighting typically denotes um, the right way to go, uh, video games become very easy to read. Okay, we still got 20 minutes. I'll keep pushing forward. Sluts. Rolling saves all day, every day. I revisited the Victoriano estate yesterday. It's a vestige, a mere husk of what was bound to be such a home of promise. Mobius reaped nearly everything of value when we took on the research ourselves, but Ruben's notes indicate he was involved in something else. Okay, so that might fix some plot hole concerns I have, even though it's probably just best not to think about it. Uh, they have STEM, 
but they can get people in wirelessly. I don't know how the fuck that would actually function within the fabric of this universe, but I guess it's some kind of like throwaway thing to say like, uh, it wasn't a plot hole, it was actually this the whole time, but I wouldn't give a shit about it either way, to be honest. Just enjoy the game for what it be. Oh! Okay, I guess, uh, trailer walking's out of the question? It did blow itself up, though. It was pretty cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit, okay. Guess they came when they heard the explosion. Now they're just kind of on top of each other, boned. Oh, shit. Where are you going? Sorry, potatoes. I don't want to step on you, but it is mandated. Oh shit. Okay, I gotta... Oh shit. Fuck. Move. Move. Well, move, but don't sprint, because then they're gonna frickin' zero in on me, I guess. Oh shit. Um, is that just to get their attention over there? Oh, God damn it! Oh, they blew up. And I didn't blow up. So. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, that went so fucking god, god awful wrong, but it worked, so. I'm gonna take credit for it. That was my plan the whole time, and it worked. There's one of these things in here. That is a card. I don't think I can pass between them. Um, where's the bottle? Can I, why can't I grab that? Oh, I have one, that's why. Okay. Eat! Hotel keycard. Do not come over here. Okay, send them back to the other side. I don't think there's anything in this room anymore. Kind of blew, all blew up. Oh, what the? F I think that was just a rat. <laughs> oh, shit. That's he's fucking sprinting. Fucking going for it, my dude. Push all this stuff up. Oh no, something's gonna come out of there. Fuck. Sebastian? Oh. 
Oh, another one of him getting possessed things. Oh god, more of them. Okay. Um shit. Okay, I need to get a bearing of where the enemies are. This guy's gonna do this world. Chill over here, I guess. There's another one over here. There is a lot of enemies this time. Got one axe. I want to see if I can get one of them. There we go. Big eat. Let's see if I can find any more axes. Ah, for now, let's go ahead and burn that. I imagine I do have to get both. Yep, gotta get both. One is not enough. Oh, there's one. Yeah, and there's one babysitting it. Okay, shit, I'm in a bad spot. Okay, there's one over there. Where does that lead? That little hidey hole. Quit being a little babysitting little fucking asshole. Let's see if I can find an axe on this other side. I guess. If I find an axe, I can take out this roamer. Okay, so this just- oh, it goes through here, too. So it's not just there. So this should alleviate some of those issues. Just gotta make sure to peek and not just go you know, full on out. Oh no, I can use that as cover, I guess. What if I... Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I'm gonna have to try to toss the bottle on over as a distraction. Or maybe just wait for him to turn around. That should be sufficient. Please do not come all the way over here. Okay, we're good. We're good. You stupid motherfucker. Run, Leslie. And she ran straight into another one. Great. I'm coming, dude. I'm coming. Okay, that one's going away. That's good. Don't need to dart out, like, right as it's looking at the door. Sorry, Leslie. I'm, I'm coming, buddy. Oh shit, don't come this way. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, Laura, you fucking ass. Oh. Honestly, no. Please don't. Nice job, Leslie. 
Good job, my dude. It's all right. Now give me the fucking gun, Everything's Leslie. It's gonna be fine. I hope. Come on, dude. Hurry, this way. Oh, we got zero bullets, but at least we have the gun. Over. I don't think so. I hope that bastard doesn't come back. For your sake, Leslie. I I would sure hope so. Well, hope that he, they don't. Not that he does. Oh yeah, this is the uh, scene where Kidman decides Leslie to do a thing. Can go home. Can take the train all the way home. No, Leslie, not today. You'll protect me. Yes, that's my job. Good. good What's up with good. your purple eyes, when dude? Home, they'll be. Surprised. Don't got the Renegon. You're not a fucking Naruto villain. Understand. You don't know what he'll become. We know exactly what he'll become. That's why we need him. You don't understand what Ruvik is after. Ruvik is a corpse. He's after Leslie. And so are we. And you're more afraid of him than us? Don't patronize me. I have orders. But I can't let him have this boy. Leslie is the only one who can... Ooh, Joseph, my dude. Damn it. No. Sorry, Leslie. We ha we had to frickin' uh, Lenny. Got to let you tend the wabbits. Leslie. Oh shit. Okay, now we're back at the uh, Mobius thing. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be the two hour mark. Uh, next stream we're gonna, gonna go ahead and finish this up. We'll go ahead and do the next DLC. And then if we finish any of those early, we'll just go ahead and jump straight on into the Evil Thin 2. Um, the next game I'm probably gonna be streaming is probably just gonna be Dark Souls. I'm, not, I'm sorry, not Dark Souls, Demon Souls. Because that's just what I'm currently playing and want to try to make a little bit more of an active effort to get through my backlog. Um, aside from that, thank you everyone for hanging out. Um, you can find my schedule here on Twitch. The best place to keep up to date with me is on Twitter. My ad's on screen. And yeah, thanks for hanging out. Uh, next stream is tomorrow at 6 p.m. Uh, PST. And the podcast is always on Sundays at 6.30 p.m. PST. Um, I announce my streaming schedule uh, for just like regular game streams on a weekly basis, typically on Thursday nights. So I'll make like the next week's uh, stream schedule like the Thursday before. But with that, thanks for hanging out and I will see you guys next time.